Hi guys, Path of Gaming right here right now bringing you another coaching session today with Michael who's in Diamond, what is that, Diamond 3? Uh, yeah. Diamond 3. Welcome Michael. Hi. Thank you for joining us. You brought pizza, awesome. <laughs> I love the pizza. All right. So what do you like to start and why? That's my first um, question. My preference is sword. Nice. Because um, I like to play like Ash, Jin type stuff. Um, apart from sword, the like other things that I'm okay starting, I like chain, tier, and crit. And then after chain, tier, and crit is like bow and AP. And I kind of hate starting with cloak or belt. Nice. Okay, so that's exactly what I start with. I go for sword first, followed by chain, followed by tier or glove. Yeah. Cool. Good. Um, I don't. I don't really force Z, so I don't really go for the bow. I know um, that some people like to play the Z. But... For Z, you kind of don't mind getting a bunch of Zeeks anyway. So typically, nobody wants bows. So if you get a bow, and if you get yeah, like a Zeeks, and if you get like a bow here. It could be a Z game, because you already have a Zeke's, and you can get a ball on the second carousel. I do end up slamming Zeke's here. Uh, this is kind of unfortunate, but yeah, you have to sell the, the lease. Yeah. Tiny thing, just put him in the front front row so he casts tuner, does more damage. You gotcha. always you, you always want to be one of the like look look how much time you're wasting. Mm -hmm. um, I think you'll still be one of the first few to okay yeah you are one of the first few to end the round, right? But imagine if you're getting if you're getting uh, like a unit or something and you want to buy the Fioras. Yeah, I probably got gold. Yeah, I yeah. want to buy probably I prefer buying Garen and Vayne. Yeah, to yeah. Buying the Fiora pair. No, I, of course I just meant I just meant like if you get gold or if you get uh a unit you might need to sell so yeah that makes sense it's it's better if you if you win the round faster so just like frontline everything it's a tiny tiny thing but sometimes it it matters so what do you need what do you need now huh. ideally frontline yeah because i have a tf but so you, you say you need frontline, yet you, yet you get the wanes. Okay. So I hope you buy the Silas eventually. Because all... Um, all yeah. I do get gold here. Yeah, you're guaranteed gold, so... But Silas is the most important because you need frontline. Okay, this is interesting. Wow. Okay. That actually seems quite reasonable. That actually seems quite reasonable. I didn't hit another cultist to go with him, so yeah, I went yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is fine. Uh, okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't slam the Zeke's on the. Oh, what you want him to upgrade, right? So you summon on the field. Okay, that's... Like, the tough thing is, if you do end up playing a Filios, you're going to have to remake him. But yeah, that was, that was the right call. Uh, you're going to laugh when you see what Chosen I end up getting. Okay. So you could consider leveling up here, I guess. Okay, you don't want to level up. I wasn't sure that leveling for a random vein really does anything. Uh, she's actually pretty strong, especially with the Zeeks. She could help you definitely kill a unit or two. Mm, okay. 
Positioning wise, I'm not completely sure. Oh, you, I don't know if you've scouted. Have you scouted? Mm, I normally scout later in the game. But don't you want to know exactly this? That someone else is going for Moonman? Like, you should, you should scout all, like, stage one, stage two. You should just be scouting, like, just clicking through boards to see what chosen people have. Because typically Chosens determine what, you, what, what you'll be playing, right? So that, that's why it's better to just like know what, what other people are playing. Yeah, here it's, it's a tough decision between the, the Brawler front line and the Fiora. You, I guess you make the right decision. But then if you're not getting the 10 gold, why did you not buy the Fiora? Right? Uh, I end up selling to 10. Okay, okay. So the Brawler's paying off for sure because he needed more frontline. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine so far. So what what what's like the best item here? Well, there's like two items. Um, can... in my mind, I'm looking for either just like another random AD item or a tier. Tier is nice because I already have a Zeke, so I can just slam ice cream cone. Exactly. Yeah, I was gonna say chalice or or QSS. End up choosing a three cost tier and just slamming ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's fine. I guess here you put it on the Aphelios, right? Because where else are you going to put it? Yeah. I mean, it'll help him cast a little bit sooner. His turrets will stay up a little bit longer. It's not the best. Oh, wow, nice. Okay, so here, and this is quite important. Oh, wow. I think it just got weaker. Oh, okay. Okay. So you kind of did what I was going to suggest. But, okay, so what I don't like about this is you didn't scout. Right? Uh -huh. So... Maybe someone has a three star, yeah. So maybe someone has a three star Wayne or like some crazy ass high roll. So yeah. this this play is correct, but you just gotta make sure that there aren't like because there's three people at 100 HP. Maybe like yeah. by the way, there's an echo. I don't know if you hear the echo. There's an echo on your stream. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, can you just stop my stream so that we can you can just watch from the VOD, right? Yeah, I'm watching from the VOD. That's fine. Okay, then I'll just stop my stream. Um, as I was saying, yeah, as I was saying, um, like someone could could high roll completely and could still beat you. So I do <laughs> like this play. It is ninety five percent of the time the right play. But the 5% of the time that it isn't, you can just find out, okay, this guy completely high rolled. If I play him, there's no way I win. Even if I put in a Lux, I shouldn't do this. Because you don't have a Chosen. So anyone who has a, like, a really good Chosen could potentially still beat you. So I guess the main options here were make 20 or go for win streak with a Lux. Exactly, yeah. And I, I, I personally would always go for the win streak with Lux. But I, I would just want to know if if uh, it's going to happen or not. That's a tough one. Yeah. I would definitely buy I ended up choosing not to take it because I figured the odds of hitting Lux were quite low. And here's where you laugh because I slammed Ice yep. Cream Cone and Zeke's on Aphelios and got a Moonlight Aphelios chosen. 
Uh, yeah. I guess you pick them up, but the thing is, you can just sell the, the one you have, I guess, or, okay, that works too. Yeah, yeah, that, that works probably better, but it's just a little frustrating. Uh, your positioning is kind of, kind of off. Okay, I, I just noticed that this guy is sacking. Yeah, because he has a uh, fortune. He has a Z2 chosen on his bench. Yep. He's chilling. Because um, he maybe the other guys are weak as well. So yeah, um, yeah. I guess the, I feel like, I mean I feel like it's kind of weird. Like yes, this is stronger for now, but it's just kind of weird. Yeah, I'm losing Dazzler. Wait, 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 wait. Why is why did you sell that and not keep the Irelia? Can you talk me through that? Um, I figured I'd rather hold two costs than three costs at the moment. Uh, I guess it's fair enough, but it's just like, are you going to play Annie or Jax? No. So, like, uh, I ha that, that's very cool, because, like, yesterday I had the guy holding Irelia forever and not selling her and l losing Econ because of her. But here, she's a good unit and she doesn't cost you anything. So... Mm -hmm. it's worth to keep her over two units you're never going to play. And obviously, if, like, here, if you don't get any gold, you would tell the Irelia anyway to get to get to 20. But it just, she's a little bit better than what you're keeping right now. And do you know how to position this a little bit better, your front line? Mm. So I have them next to each other, so they split aggro, but I don't know what exactly you're talking about. Okay, but... Why do you want split aggro? Um, because neither of them is tanky enough to solo aggro. Okay. But, like, the Tom Kench is just there to, to eat damage. He does absolutely nothing, right? Yeah. While Silas has a cool ultimate. Mm-hmm. So... The way you should, the way I think about this, or the way I position this, and I, I think you should start doing it as well, is make them walk towards the Tom Kench and kind of like surround the Tom Kench, and then Silas comes up and slams his chains. So is Silas supposed to stand one square back? On yeah, one or, one or two square squares back. Uh, wait, this is there we go. Does it actually matter? Wait, are they origin? I think Moom. Yeah. So, Aphelios, the Sandra, another Aphelios. Doesn't really matter. And then we have yeah. uh, Tom Kench, right? So, if Salas is here. Yeah. Like, imagine you're, you're playing, you're playing a, a mirrored version of, of your comp, right? So, if, if he has the same yeah. thing, these two units are just going to attack each other. Yeah. But if your Salas is somewhere like here. It's it's likely that like units might walk up around the Tom Kench, and this is this is scouting. Like you need to know if it, if he should be here or here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have units walk up and like sit next to Tom Kench. So if if this is like the the front row, then what happens is, uh, this is just yeah, it doesn't really matter. But like they would walk up like this, maybe mm -hmm. right? If, if the units are over here, they will walk up over here. And now if Silas is here, he's just going to walk like this. Okay, like this would, would work out. But like what I mean is from this side, for example, then Silas would walk up and slam his chains. That's how you maximize his ultimate. And I think it's, up, it's actually up to, it's not just two rows, it's up to three rows. Like Silas can hit, Silas can hit three units like this. With the chains. I'm pretty sure. Because he hits... Yeah, he hit from here. Yeah. He can hit all three units. So, like, really you want to maximize... At least get him... Like, at least try to get him to hit two. So, if you can okay. get... If you can get them to surround your Tom Kench And then Silas walk up and slam them. It's really insane value. And it's like these, these little things that, that help you win rounds. Either win rounds or just win with, with more units left to do more damage. 
So it's just like a little okay. little placement tip. Because uh, each unit has like a special ultimate, obviously. And your job is to place them in such a way to maximize the ultimate. Yeah. Which I don't know if, you, if you've played any RTSs like StarCraft, for example, or Age of Empires or anything of the likes. I'm really bad at that type of game. Okay. I'm familiar with them, but I'm bad at them. Because I, uh, I was relatively good at the macro part, but terrible at the micro part. But here, it's yeah. too hard keeping track of your units at so many places on the map in that type of game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but like this game, why I love this game, because here, based on your positioning, you your units kind of do what you want them to do, right? It's very easy, like, you know, like, if you put them there and there and there, uh, your units are going to are gonna micro by themselves if you just put them in the right place. So I briefly entertained here, but didn't end up running Fortune. Um, because okay. I had yeah. Tom Kench, Annie, Jinx, but I just didn't really feel it. Uh, why shouldn't you run Fortune here? I take a million damage. As it turns out, I took a million damage anyways, but... Because you're winning. That is the answer. Like, as soon as you lose, you can win in Fortune. And I guess you can you can go for, for... Yeah, so look at, like, yeah. This is, like, the worst positioning because most likely... Okay, this is... Ah! Uh, yeah. Look at that. You see that? He just hits one one unit. And Aphelios dies first. Uh, Silas dies first. Like, you don't need Silas to die first. You need Tom Kench to die first because he's, he's the meat shield. So, I mean, here... Okay. <coughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This would be perfect. If Tom Kench was, was here somewhere, as I showed you, and Aphelios was, like, in the second or third row... Uh, Silas, sorry. Uh, do you see my, you see my cursor as well, right? Yeah, I see your cursor. So Tom Kench over here, Salas over here. These two are going to walk up to Tom Kench. And then Salas is going to walk up and slam them both. The reason why Salas can't slam them both is because they're both walking towards him. Yeah? So if, if, it, if Tom Kench was there instead of Silas, then Silas could have walked up from this side or walk up, walked around. He could have walked around and hit this. Or hit that, or hit that. If he was, like, behind the Tom Cage. Yeah? Uh, uh, I is still... there, like, a general version of this? So, like, Silas has, like, um... Silas is a frontliner that has, like, a multi-unit uh, ultimate. But, yeah. like, if you have... Garen or you have Hecarim, they want people to clump up around them so that they can AoE. Exactly. So if you have two-star Garen or two-star Hecarim, you sort of want to backline everything if they're, if they're strong enough so that they get completely surrounded. So there you never want to split aggro. As long as you're strong enough, you never want to split aggro because the more units... And, and like Garen, it's, it's okay like if he spins. But Hecarim, even more specifically... If he doesn't have enough units around him, he won't ulti like, fast enough and he won't heal enough. Because he uh -huh. heals based on the damage dealt. So if you, if you don't get your Hecarim surrounded, you're, you're griefing your game. So I guess, apart from like, so if you have, if you have a frontliner that wants to like, get surrounded, yeah. you position like that, when... When then, in your mind, is it okay to split aggro? You split aggro when there's a lot of damage coming in and you want your frontliners to survive a bit longer and they both sort of want to, like, cast something. But, like, Tom Kench can just die, right? Yeah. Um, like, splitting aggro, it, it's not really that necessary. Like... If you think about it, it's it's not terrible if like Maokai walks up first, ulties, and then dies. Then Vi walks up second, ulties, then dies. Rather mm -hmm. than like Maokai not ulting and Vi not ulting and then they ulti at the same time and then they both die at the same time. Like 
Um, it's more about whatever's two star. And also, and this is big, like you need to scout. Because if someone was playing a Zed or a Diana or whatever that would jump back and kill your Ophelioses, that's really, really bad. So typically the way I would, I would do it is I would put Silas next to Ophelios. In case some, something gets to the back. Okay. So if Silas is next to Aphelios, so here we go. Yeah. So Silas is next to Aphelios. As I mentioned before, he would walk up at a better, better angle and your backline is protected. So that's really important. So it's, it's more specifically protecting your, like the whole point of frontline is to protect your backline. Right? Yeah. But some some units are, are better if they're actually in the back. Or like if you as soon as you have a ZZ rod, you should have them in the back. So it's like you get you get more protection sometimes by putting one of your tanks in the back. Because not not all cops are like damaged from the front and then that damage to the back. And by the way, how do you position against Timo? If I mean obviously if you if you didn't have Zeke's... Like, added. if I knew that I was against a Teemo? Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you have Zeke's and Chalice, so there's nothing yeah, you can do. I have Zeke's and Chalice, so I don't really want to split my units up anyways. But you know like you know that you should split units up against Teemo, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Same but like, with Jinx. Yeah, exactly. And Ari, but that's later in the game. Uh, against Ari, it's not just splitting up, it's putting her in different... Oh my... What? Okay, okay. So this is exactly... Yeah, this is this is my point right there. So if you position the way I told you the position, you win this. Yeah. So this is, this is just positioning, because it's like extremely close. Like why... Like, yeah, you, the Tom Kench died second rather than first. And yeah, if Aphelios hadn't... Freaking, uh, that's... Okay, so this is... Why are you keeping the Jinx over Tom Kench? Uh, don't have a good explanation for that. Right? Because, what was it? Two rounds ago, you told me I'm not keeping Irelia because she's a three cost. Yeah. And now you're keeping yeah. a Jinx over... Tom Kench, Tom Kench and Mauka would be better to have here. Well, why, why Tom Kench specifically? Because he's a pair. Yeah, that's so crucial. That is so, so, so crucial. Like, if, if you two-star him, he's so much stronger than one-star. Not only does he get more HP, but he gets more... Okay, why is this just bad? You just lost. Why, why would you level up? Um, I pretty much always leveled a 6 on 3-2. Okay, but why? You need, um, like, you need to know why you're doing these things. Because it preserves HP and it doesn't cost that much. I mean, here it costs 10 gold, I guess. Uh, one interest gold. Uh, like, how much stronger do you get? Realistically, how much stronger do you get? Um, by the way, okay. Why... Should you not play the the sounder here? What's a better unit to play here? Um, third Aphelios gives another two star Aphelios potential. Uh, what's the order? I forget which gets prioritized between Aphelios and Silas. To be honest, but uh, yes, I see your point. The the Lissandra is going to get level two, and Silas won't get level two, which is bad. Yeah, and but like, what does Okay, you get you get Dazzler, kind of. I guess you do. But what are you lacking right now? Looking at your board. Um, I guess you could run Jax for frontline. Exactly. Uh, your frontline is weak. You have enough damage in the back. Like while, like if you look at the last round, while your shit was like while your frontline was alive, um, uh, you're you're beating him. As soon as your shit dies, like, as soon as this dies, your whole comp is dead. So, it's very, very important that 
your front lines arrives, especially like with double Ophelios and a Zeke's and a, and a ice cream cone. So you're kind of adding in more damage, but you don't need more damage. And we're well, scouting. Yay. Dazzler should help my unit stay alive, right? Um, or would you not value the two-star Dazzler here? Let, let's see what it does. Or, let's see what it does. Okay. So as you can see, the fact that Silas did not upgrade is going to be extremely painful for you. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so the Dazzler, I don't think it actually does anything, right? Because Lux stuns. And Nunu just eats stuff. Okay, so you tell me, why did you lose this round? Uh, Silas died pretty early because he ended up taking full aggro and he yep. was one star. Yep. So did you die because you didn't have damage or did you die because he didn't have tanks? Thanks. Yeah. And it's exactly the same as, as last round. Where you died because your tanks died too soon. So like you need to like look at your board and this is I guess this is like uh, a general rule. Look at your board and think to yourself, do I need more, more frontline or backline? Because on stage two and still on stage three, partially even on stage four, it's still frontline, backline. So synergies come in later. Like, uh, by the way, you would get, uh, you would get uh, Divine. Divine, yeah. Which is nice for Lux, because uh, I don't know if uh, you probably know this though, that like Lux is the perfect Divine. Because she needs six autos and then she casts. Yeah. So she's divine as soon as, like, she is divine for her ultimate, which is brilliant. Yeah. yeah. And Jax mitigates a lot of physical damage. So he's really good as well. So, like, generally, leveling up here is fine, but I don't think it did that much. It just sort of made you weaker if you think about it. Because by putting in the Sandra, you, you lost frontline. Yes, the Sandra did some damage. Yes, the Sandra did 1,200 damage. But if you had a two-star Stylus, you would soak up more damage anyway. So, like, I guess that's why you got coaching, right? Because if you follow the general rules, like when to level up, that's fine. That'll get you to Diamond. Might get you to Master, but it might not. Like, now you have to think for yourself, like, do I need to level up here? And my rule is, if I'm winning, I'm leveling up. Like, you could have leveled up on 3-1, for example. Because you were, I think, on a 3-win streak. So you level up on 3-1. Just to, just to maintain your win streak. Because I'm pretty sure you would have won 3-1 had you leveled up. Yeah? I usually level up on 3-1 if I'm, like, 5-streaking. Okay, fair enough. Because it's usually kind of expensive otherwise. Well, you would be on a 4-streak. Had you won there, you would be on a 4-streak, which would give you 2 extra gold. So if, if it doesn't cost you more than two interest gold, you should do it, right? Mm -hmm. And then, like, it just, it just doesn't feel good leveling up after losing. That's just my kind of general rule. Like, because you lost, so, like, why not lose again? Like, it doesn't really matter that much. So it's like either I'm winning and going for, for wins and trying to, trying to get a lot of, uh, like, like, get a win streak and... And get a lot of damage in on the other players, or alternatively, I'm just losing. But like here, right. you you kind of like flip flopped. Okay, I was winning, but now I lost, and like I'm gonna level up anyway. So yes, it just. But actually, no. It's it's too interest, or like do you have to you have to sell the sound or something, right? Yeah, I sell. Yeah. Oh, what the hell! You sell the Aphelios. Now that in my mind is crazy. Don't you want to get three star Aphelios? No, I'm not trying for three star Aphelios. For free? You're two off. And it's essentially free. Like, yes, his items are, are subpar, 
But if you have three star Aphelios and you manage to two star Silas, you have three star Silas, three star Aphelios. But like, what is the Lissandra? And again, you have the Jacks. Okay, far, fine. Makai is a tiny bit better, yeah. This positioning is a little bit better. But yeah, it's never for, for Moonlight. Because it's just griefing your other Moonlights. Because you're getting a, a two star one cost rather than a two star two cost. Is this guy just forcing a Filios? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. So it I the crazy thing is I think you're gonna figure it out eventually. But you're getting shit on for three rounds, and you still haven't realized that you need more frontline. Right? Like now looking at it, you do realize it. But in game, you still haven't realized it. I hope you do at some point. I mean, you said you said you turned it around, but yeah. So what do we want here? So I had a AP open, and what I was saying as I was playing was I yep. wanted a bow, a chain, or a. Um, a bow or chain or a crit, and I took a chain. Okay, interesting. So why, why the chain? So I was thinking I already have Ice Cream Cone Zeke's. So I can make a locket, but I ended up not making the locket because I was on a lost streak, so I didn't see the point in slamming a locket while on lost streak. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so I ended up not... It would have been... Good if I had taken Nunu here, but I don't think I took Nunu. I mean, you're you're selling the okay. You're not selling the Shen. I end up holding on to the Shen for no reason. Okay. Repositioning, good. So I would consider like Locket is not not the worst. You are missing like uh, meat. Uh, but the rage bait is, is pretty pretty crazy on Aphelios. Um, the bow got taken. It was on the other side. There was another bow on the Vigar. There's a Vigar for bow. Right there. Ah. I see. Yeah. So I mean that you could have taken that for, for extra extra damage. Cause I mean, how much? Look how much Aphelios is shooting. So yeah, if he shoots even more, here I take really bad loss. Yeah, cause you still don't have a front line. You still don't have a front line, and I'm pretty sure it's Sao Shen get the Nunu, cause you don't want the armor on the Shen anyway. Please, no, just uh, take out the, the Lissandra, put in another Brawler. It'll make you so much stronger. Because that's what, 1100 HP? 1100 HP, no, and plus the Silas upgrade, so it's like immensely more HP. Uh, but what do, you want, what do you want to happen this round? Uh, I take do. a close loss and oh, exactly. the streak into neutral. Exactly. And how did you position for that specifically? Like, what did you do to make sure that you lose, but not by too much? Uh, I didn't actually change my position at yeah. all here. Yeah. So you should have looked at who you've played and make sure you lose to the strong, like the weakest guy by, by just a small margin. Because this looks kind of dangerous. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess your front line is just... No, paper. I take another bad loss, because yeah. I don't have front line. Yeah, your front line is paper. Because you have way more damage than he does. It just, you, you don't have, like, you can't use your damage because your front line just melts. So, 
so yeah let's see how you uh change it hopefully i'm, I'm still wow okay interesting You still have one more unit to win. Good, good, good. You do want to get to 40 here, right? Oh, okay, okay. So just kill, yeah, the shunt. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're at 40. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see how you turn this around. <laughs> that um, yeah you said the flash okay okay here yeah this is this is kind of big oh but that gives you yeah the oh perfect yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. this is yeah and now you're slamming the locket okay why is locket bad here I didn't think it was bad, so I made it. But I'm telling you it's bad, and I want to know why. Mm, I don't know why. Well, look at your board. They have a lot of health. You have six brawlers. So do brawlers need a little shitty 300, what is it, 350 from the locket? I guess it's relatively less valuable than if you have like mystic or vanguard front line of exactly. resistance so like the only time you don't want to have a locket is when you have brawlers i like so i'm thinking this game that i'm going to run some divine units and i like locket with divines because it lets them uh, survive enough to get their divine proc okay okay so like you're gonna Pivot out of this for, and you're gonna keep the the Warwick. I mean, it's it's good for the long run, but like right now, it's it's not the best. But you don't have anything else to slam. Um, it's a bit unfortunate you didn't grab the bow. Like even if you hadn't made, uh, like even if you hadn't made the locket, but you had a bow open, you could make a runance for Warwick eventually. But this is just fine. I mean, yeah. But this is a game where, uh, like, no offense, but you didn't play that well, the, the yeah. stage three especially, but you just got a crazy lucky chosen. 5% chance, and you got Warwick, which is, like, one of the best chosens. So, bailed out by the, by the chosen. Um, I don't know why you're selling the, the Hecarims, to be honest. Because what, what is your level eight? Isn't Hecarim your level 8? Ideally, Ash. Yeah, but wouldn't it be better to hold the Hecarim so after Castle you can level up play Hecarim? In case you don't find anything? Oh no, you, you dropped the Zeke's of the, from the Warwick. That's kind of bad. So I was trying to dodge his Zed. Okay, by and this one I get super tilted because my my so I dodged the Zed because I saw that this guy was wind streaking. I scouted yeah. him. I moved my Phileos out of where his Zed is gonna go. Okay. And then my Warwick just like AFKs the fight. But why I'm not sure just my Warwick does this fight? Why not just put all your brawls in front of Aphelios then? Okay, fine. There's a Irelia, so you you can put Tom Kench to the right. You can put Tom Kench here. But everything else can be just be like right, right here. Mm -hmm. Also, since Z is here, I guess you could put Aphelios like here more. So like Lux, Aphelios, Warwick. I, I scouted pretty late into the round, so I was only able to like, yep. move him by one. I wasn't able to move the full board. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, well, does he Warwick... get hit by the Aurelia stone? He does. That's why he AFKs the fight. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is so fucking frustrating. I that's why yeah, that's why his head is getting removed. That's why his head needs to get removed. Fortunately they're changing him. He he no longer yeah. gets the aggro drop in set four point five. Oh, he's not going to, but like, yeah, Shade is going to remove. That's that's the thing. Shade is going to remove, which is yeah. crucial. I mean, good job positioning for him, but you could have positioned sooner and better, obviously, like had you scouted sooner. Yeah, so, I'm kind of salty on this one. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, this doesn't make any sense to me. Just keep it in mind. Why is Tom Kench in the back? Yeah, he doesn't have a good reason to be there. Why not put Nunu in the back or Silas in the back? Because they actually do stuff. So that, that, that's like the general rule. Uh, like Tom Kench, you don't care about. Another one, I guess Wukong is like the, the, the runt of the litter from Vanguard. Like you don't really care about Wukong, so you just put him in the front. He would just die. Mm hmm and then, like, you want Garrett to spin, or you want Hecarim to get surrounded. And Wukong is just, like, there as fodder. Right? Mm -hmm. But, like, with, with Tom Kench, like, the only thing he does is soak up damage. Well, every other, every other brawler actually does some utility. So, you definitely want the, the damage soaker to die first. Because if somehow Silas OTs twice, if Nunu OTs twice, it's, it's really big. While Tom Kench can, like, cannot ulti. Tom Kench doesn't have an ulti. I mean, against this guy, it's it's smart because the Tom Kench is actually blocking a lot of damage from the Pike, and now the Diana, and you have unleashed the Beast. Yeah. The that other just... reason I have Warwick in the back line here because I want him getting the buffs. Much yeah, like that, that's fine. I mean, it, it's smart because you don't want him to take damage, right? So what do you want here? Um, I think I commented here that I'd like crit, bow, or one other thing. I'm taking a crit. Yeah, that's uh, five cost crit, of course. Take it. Because I figured it can become QSS on... It can, become a, it can become a QSS. Hodge yep. or... I just like the, the crit items, especially like when you're going into Raptor, you don't really know what you're going to get. But there's not too many bad crit combines because you get either like some utility or you get good damage. Yeah. I mean, the way Soju put it is it helps you remove shit items. So no matter what item you get, like the, the glove kind of helps you remove a shit item, essentially. So here, if you... Okay, yeah, you don't, you don't want to sell... Yeah, 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 fine, it wouldn't be... Oh, okay. Okay, wouldn't Hecarim be better here? Uh, I don't think Elderwood is doing that much here. Uh, None would... of my carries are Elderwood. They would... No, but they would tuck up more damage. I mean, the Zillion ulti is not bad. Yeah. But actually, the Zillion ulti is kind of not super useful just because I have, um... Like, the Zillion ulti does exactly... It doesn't exact... go onto the Warwick because he's too much health. The Zillion ulti does exactly the same as, as Hecarim. It buffs your weakest units. Right? Wow. <laughs> so, I get owned by another Zed here. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, there we go. Nice. Can you three side the war this game? I hold on to it for this round, which is a mistake. I, I would like to be able to, but not super realistic. Um, okay, so what is the main condition to know whether you can or cannot three star the war week? You have enough health and money, and in this case, I do not have enough money. Uh, even more important than that. Also, not enough health. No, no, no. Like, health and money are important, but what is even more important is you want a three-star the Warwick. Um, I don't have, like, perfect Warwick items from to carry it with either. Uh, no, you're still thinking... Okay, it's not... Like, it's not... Answer is not about you. 
it's whether sure whether there's Warwick's missing from the pool or not. Exactly. So like right now you you run through every you run through every board, you count Warwick's. If there's zero, you might consider like keeping the Warwick. If there's someone go if someone is going for Warwick, then you just sell the Warwick. That that should be a thought process. Is Warwick contested? Yes, he is. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna three star him. No, he's not. Because three starring Warwick is just when you see the game. Even like whatever his items are. He's just yeah, super broken. The, I had a game the other night where I was like super high rolling. Um, like I was fast nine, had a, like two two star Yones, had like a bunch of two star legendaries, and still just lost to three star Warwick. Yep. He's. Wait, what did we sell? We sold, we sold a, a new new. It would have okay. been better to sell the Warwick. Um, but like, how many players are going Warwick? I don't think that many people are going Warwick, to be honest. And there he is, haunting you. Yep. So let's see. So I don't know if you saw, but I sold every Moonlight unit and went out of Moonlights. Oh, okay. I I guess okay. So we, yeah, I thought there was nothing going to be happening, but okay, you you do do stuff, okay. Wait, wait, why are we selling Silas? Why the hell do we sell Silas? He's not a Moonlight. Silas is a brawler. Right? Okay. Yeah? You had Silas for brawler, not for, like, you had him for both, but, like, six brawler is definitely better. Like, yes, he's one star, but you definitely keep him to two star him, if you can. Oh, no. Oh, okay. You got another item. What the fuck? Okay. Holy shit. So there's another Silas, but I guess now... Yeah, so now you want to put in... Jax. Oh, you missed the Jax. Sure, that's good. Missed the Vi. Missed the Vi, yeah. You're using your hotkeys. That's good. You put in the Jax, I hope. It, get pulled, it gets pulled in. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Why not? It's buffing the Warwick. Divine Spat option. Or GA Last Whisper for Warwick, I guess. It's kind of whatever. So let's see what you make here. I mean, obviously you were rolling as fast as you could. So I'm not going to blame you for that. Okay, nice. So buy the Jax. Buy the Lilia. Buy the Irelia. Nice. Okay, that works too. That works. Okay. That, that's looking decent. Uh, I would consider putting the Titans on, on set, actually, rather than Warwick. But I, it works because he's a, he's a beefy boy. My it's, reasoning was that Warwick is two star and set yeah. is one star. And he just, okay, yeah, it's fine. I, and, and he's chosen as well, so. Um, you can, okay. This comp is, yeah, this comp is powerful. Just pick up, oh wow, you should be picking up five costs. Just to increase your odds. Yeah, there we go, that's good. Now that could, that could have potentially been a two star Silas, if, if you, or like a two star buy had you been buying her. Oh shit, um, that was a mistake. Uh, let's see if you, if you fix the mistake. Why is there a Tom Kench instead of the Maokai, right? Uh, yeah. Because Maokai gets the Elwood buff as well. I think Tom Kench ends up chilling for a while. Yeah. 
And also, obviously, Silas is better than, than either of them. So you should you should have uh, Silas in there. And I know you had Silas at some point. And you sh like, you should have been buying the Vise and the Silas's all along. I was in a rush for... So I wasn't focusing as much on the Vise on that rolldown because I was in a rush looking for the higher cost stuff like the Ash. Yeah, but um, like you, it, it, it takes like a split second to buy it, right? Mm-hmm. You're not looking for it, but like, the more things you're technically looking for and picking up, like the more the more value you get from your roll, if that makes sense. Yeah. If like each roll you're looking just for ash, like ash is gonna be very expensive. If you roll like ten gold, buy one ash. That's fourteen gold for an ash. But if you pick up some buys and silences along the way, then like the ash is not gonna be as expensive because you kind of use the shops a bit more. So let's get a Warwick item. Deathplay would be okay, I guess. RFC is fine. You went for the greedy item. Why do you think Deathblade is better than RFC? I figured that with six Brawler, Warwick is living. Okay. For a while. Okay. I also had in my mind that I'd like to move the um, move the locket and the Zeeks and the ice cream cone up to the front line. Okay. In which case the RFC Holy is not shit. as necessary. You're high rolling, yeah. Then, yeah. So do I do it this round? I know. Yep. Oh, yep. yep. Uh, Lee Sin definitely in the front. Yep, good. Yep, even better. So now you're protecting, you're sort of protecting Warwick and you're sort of protecting Lee Sin, which is good. Um, Azriel should be in a corner. But his ulti, no wait, his, I think his ulti hits everything anyway. So that should be fine. Uh, he just gets murdered by Zed. Yep. Or sorry, by Akali. Oh, nice. The set got you. That was very close. Um, are you playing Irelia? It's kind of hard to fit at the moment. Is it? Because I don't have... Um... Given that I have Lee Sin... Uh, Jax is giving Duelist, whereas Aurelia is not given well, Adept because there's no Yone or Shen, and I'm not putting Mystics into this comp realistically. But Jax and Aurelia would give you 6 Divine. So it's what? It's 400 HP off of Warwick for 3 more seconds of Divine. I, I do want to get out of Tom Kenshin by. Um, yeah, I'm trying to cut this. Because you lose 400... Wait, you lose... Sorry, sorry. You lose... But I didn't see that I could have done that this round. Yeah. yeah you lose 1,200 this. HP. You lose 1,200 HP. 400, 400, 400. So you lose 1,200 HP. You gain 3 seconds on Warwick, 3 seconds on on Jax, and 3 seconds on Ash. And Lux. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I, I, I agree yeah. it'd be worth it. I just didn't see it. Okay. So that's just um, like recognizing stuff because you have your whole turn to figure it out. Yeah. I mean, obviously this is, this is like not going to be very, like very often where you're going to have uh, a force of nature. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why is this bad? This positioning? Why was the positioning before better? Um, the backliners are more protected. Uh, sort of, but what is what is more important? What what is more important? Israel's old angle. Um. Okay. Uh. But I think he's still hitting everything here. Like synergistically, what? Like synergy wise. Um. 
Um, like I know I'm poking and prodding, but there's there's like one specific thing, one specific thing you should have done. So it's the fact that you have uh, Warwick with the Death Blade. Yeah. You have hunters. Yeah. So Ash enables oh, kills. So you want them put in the same person. Exactly. So Warwick gets his stacks. Okay. Exactly. Sure. So like this way, Ash is gonna kill the the guard, and Warwick gonna walk around and try to kill um, Cassio. Or sure. maybe maybe go all the way and kill Thresh. I think Cassio dies too quickly for that. Yeah. So it's just like a minor thing, but obviously Warwick is, is completely insane. I think the death death blade was the right call since you moved everything front line. So it's interesting, my lobbies consist of a lot more Warwicks and less Zeds. Your lobbies have a lot more Zeds. I guess that's the difference in NA. I don't know. It felt like t more people were going reroll this lobby than normal. Okay. I really don't like playing reroll, but like part of it, the part of the reason I don't like playing reroll is that you'll have like there was the guy forcing Moonman, and then there's usually a Z player or two. Yeah. And when you play, when you play those, you often like need very specific items for your carry. So the way you should do it is if you get the specific items, and if you get the specific chosen, or like if you have crazy econ. And if you're uncontested. I, I prefer if it's uncontested and I have the items and I have the econ, then I go for it. Yeah. Like I forced Zed the other day and I had uh, RFC, Runans, Runans, and it was completely insane. Like he just cleaned up. Sure. But it's like, it was more about, okay, I'm getting a lot of bows. I do have a Zeke's. I might as well do it. And yeah. then you roll down on seven and you see what you hit. Like if on seven you hit Shen, so you have all your ninjas, then it's like, okay, I might as well do it. Oh, by the way, yeah, you missed uh, Mr. Tom Kench. That's why I paused. Um, I think here's where I finally get rid of these, yeah. But Jax, Jax could have <laughs> gone in earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was Jax and Vi until this happened. I'm thinking, yeah, you, you just run five divine. Yeah, you just run five divine. So, okay, so you're saying earlier that you're not three starring Warwick, right? Yeah? Yeah. Because, er, but earlier you had like almost 40 gold and one Warwick. Now you're at eight gold and you have two Warwicks. So now it's very, very unlikely. Yeah. I think I do sell these off at some point. Okay. Because 40 gold and one Warwick, that can happen. 8 gold and 2, that's not happening. Okay. Okay. Uh, why is it... Um, okay, yeah, I'll allow it because there's nothing else you can actually do here, so. Like, your only way out is to get 3-star Warwick to get a lot stronger and Ash, yeah. I'm mostly rolling to try to hit Ash at this point. Yeah, and you do. Because I figure that I'm not really going 9. Yeah. Um, I, I hope you get to, I hope you get to 10 gold here. Oh uh, yeah, Aatrox is obviously not kept. Well, nor is Jax, right? Although it is... Holy crap. Um, yeah, you should probably get to 10 here. So, like, the reasoning is you could 
play Jax potentially over Irelia. You lose a depth, but you get a uh, more attack speed on your Lee Sin. Good, 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 yeah. Okay, so now positioning. This is terrible. That's a little bit better, but uh, whatever. Um, what do you want to happen in this fight? So I know who exactly I'm fighting because I just fought the Zed player, so now I'm fighting the Moon Man player. Okay. Uh, and my reasoning for backlining stuff here was I wanted the locket going on to my Ash because my Ash is going to get picked out by the Hunters, and I want her to survive as long as possible. Brilliant. That I agree with, but what is the front line? Like, what the hell is this? Don't have too much of an explanation for you there. Okay. So what are the abilities of your frontline units? Um, Lee Sin, can you go back a few seconds to where I saw his board? I want to... Um, okay, so no, I didn't... So at one point I did purposefully put my Lee Sin so that it would be kicking someone out. Okay. Uh, this round was not it. This round I didn't really have a unit in mind to kick out. But I do know that like Lee Sin, if he's focusing one person, he'll often like kick them and then kick them out of the fight. So you can like cheese a frontliner. Um I just mean like general positioning. Why is why is this bad general positioning? Um Yone would like to not take the aggro. Set would like to take the aggro to make use of Set's thing. Exactly. You want set solo frontline. Right? Yeah, so Yone, Yone needs to be back here. Because sure. Set can take, I don't know, whatever, like, this is insane. What is this? One, two, three, four. Like, it's he has, like, 2.5k HP. Yeah. So he can take 2k damage for free and then go work out. Yeah. And as soon as he does his sit-ups, he becomes even stronger. Yeah. So, like, the longer you deny Set doing his sit-ups the weaker he is because he might come back to the fight without being uh, in his Super Saiyan mode where he does true damage. Mm -hmm. So, like, you want to make sure that Set does true yeah, damage. Yone dies for free. Wait, that's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought that that's me. <laughs> I'm like, wait, Path of Gaming, what, what's going on? Uh... Oh, wow, okay. Uh, that was a good fight. <laughs> good fight, man, good fight. <laughs> Uh, so what do we want here? Why did Hodge? Yeah. It got taken, so I take Frozen Heart and slam it on set. Who? I would have gone for I Ionic. I could a case for Ludens onto one of the Dazzlers, I guess. I would have got Ionic. Ionic is huge on set before he does his uh, sit-ups. I'm rolling here because it's the last round. Uh, it's not the last round. But, like, it could be your last round. It's fine. You waited until two star. I accept that. <coughs> you should continue rolling, though. Definitely continue rolling. Wait, what? That's... Oh, God. That's... Oh, that's way too late. Okay, so how long did you know that you're going to be playing this guy? You you could have you, you probably knew I from the start. Knew it from the beginning. Yeah. So like this, there's too much hesitation. There's just too much hesitation. We we can't have that. Like how much gold did you have? You had okay, you had like twenty gold. So it cannot take you twenty seconds to roll twenty gold. Right? Like, it took you way too long to actually roll it. Yeah, it took you 20 seconds. That's, that's just painful, man. So you don't get Zeke's on 
so you fuck up Yone's shield, you don't get Zeke's on the Warwick, you don't get Chal you don't get uh, Locket or Chalice value. However, I eat I eat Z and then set ult, and so that's enough to just win. The that's fight. enough, but it could have been a lot better. Like, yes, I do like the fact that you put Warwick in the front so he, he didn't get targeted, but like, um, like, what's really funny, like the way I did it, and it was extremely easy to be honest. Was it the second game or the first game? I think it was the second game. Second game. Wait, what? Third game? Okay, then I don't know. This game, there we go, this game, yeah. So if you know you're gonna play against Zed, you can do yep. something something cheeky like this. I'm watching. Yeah. So this is what you were aiming for, I guess, right? Mm, similar, yeah. So like you kind of panicked and half acid like late. But this is like planning for it ahead of time. Cause this like this head player has no chance. Because Aphelios can just shit on him. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, this was bad positioning. Sorry, sorry, this was bad positioning. And then I realized I need more in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I, what I had was I had the Nunu and the set. And the Nunu, like, 8 Z. Yeah, okay. Hit, like, 1 HP and then set slammed him. So this was better because I had more in the back. So yeah, this is this was a lot easier. Yeah. So I do like it, but like you could have you could have positioned a little bit better, like a little a little safer. Yeah. Like it, I I like the thought, but just like make it cleaner, I guess. And then I move back because I'm fighting yeah. the other person. Yeah, you respect that. That's good. I'm not sure about the... Maybe the Frozen Heart tech was kind of okay-ish. Because I don't actually have a depth in. And you're fighting the Zed guy again. Wow, that was kind of close. Nunu owned him again. Okay, so you lost this guy. So you don't need Mystic here anyway. Like, there's no point getting Mystic. Yeah. And there's no a... there's no point getting uh, Adept either. So you made the right call. I don't know if you're aware of of that. Yeah, I, I yeah. was thinking about that. Yeah, then that's good. I think against this guy, you want a front line again. Yeah, you could have sold everything on your bench except the Yone. Uh, you're never playing the Irelia, are you? So the only thing you care about right now is the ONA2, if you can get ONA2. Isn't it? So here I try to kick Silas with Lee Sin. Okay. Um What he turned around? What the hell? That's cheating. However, uh, set he, uh, throws Lisa, uh, throws Silas anyway, so I don't get to. Um... Wow. Okay. 
So I think your board was just super strong, like thanks to the force of nature. But yeah. positioning wise, it's like I'd say like seventy five percent there. Like you know kind of what you're doing and why. You can just do it a little bit better. Like here, uh, here. I'm thinking if you want the Warwick in the front. I guess not. I guess Warwick in the back is kind of okay. But yeah, yeah, this is this is let's see how it plays out. Um Yeah. So the yo like the ash in the corner of the Yone was dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. So if like I don't know how, how well he was gonna be positioned. And also being on the same side as as the Aphilos is kind of dangerous, but yeah. Good job shitting on them. <laughs> so this is good. Um, definitely work on stage three though. Yes. Stage three was was like you didn't realize you needed more front line. But overall, I think we can both agree that you kind of high roll out of your ass by hitting the Warwick here. Yeah, the fawn into the Warwick was a pretty big. <laughs> fawn into Warwick typically should indicate that you're going for uh, first or second. Yeah. Holy crap, 5% chance and you hit this. Yeah, it happens sometimes. All right, so so any any questions? Um, so like, what am I supposed to do in that spot if I don't hit the Fawn or I don't hit the Warwick? In this spot. Um, so say I'm in this spot and I either don't hit Fawn or don't hit Warwick. What am I supposed to do to salvage this game? Okay, well, Fawn, like, yeah, that's not going to happen. You need to roll for a Chosen. Right? Yeah. It's most likely going to be a 3-cost Chosen and a 4-cost Chosen, obviously. So apart from high rolling a 4-cost or getting a Kindred, what other types of Chosens can I realistically, like, stabilize off of here? So what <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? Uh, like looking at your board. So in this case, I have, like, ignoring the Warwick, I have a lot of frontliners, but they're all weak ones. But because I sold the other Aphelios, I'm actually kind of light on backline as well. Yeah. I would definitely say you need backline here. Yeah, so that's why I said Kindred, because I think Kindred Chosen is probably my favorite three cost to get. It could be potentially Ari, I guess, with this. Zeke's Chalice, you have a Jewel Gauntlet, a tier. That could go Ari. Right? If you find, like, Ari, uh, yeah, so Kindred... Uh, then like a, a Nunu, potentially Vigar, right? Just just for now, with those items. Yumi is always good. So like you can pick up most. Like I really has okay. Yumi, Vigar, Nunu, Lux we would take. Kindred obviously. And that's about it. And then okay. from like from like two costs maybe a, a Lulu or Hecarim. Right, because you take a um, with this as your front line. Uh, would you take a Timo chosen? Because I think Timo chosen is really strong. Yeah, but... of course, sure, sure. Timo would be fine. Um, like, okay. obviously, knowing how this plays out, it's fine. But I, I think saying the Aphelios was 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 uh, was wrong. Really? Okay. My thinking was that I was getting, like, I was still taking losses with that Aphelios, and I wasn't trying to go for Aphelios 3, so I wanted to open Chosen up. Uh, it's it's close. I mean, you hit you hit the Warwick, but I mean, you could have sold the Aphelios with items, and you could have, like, transferred the items to the other Aphelios and just tried a two-star. Oh, yeah. Um, like... All right, it's tough. It, like, this position is tough, because, like... But I still think I would try to get to 8 after Carousel. Yeah. 
and roll it down on eight. So you would keep so you would keep the other Aphelios, try to upgrade the front line, and then go eight. I would just go eight right away. I mean, like with with what I had. Okay. And so the other things to take away, um, there's the positioning on the front line. You yeah. don't like this Lissandra here. You'd rather the Lissandra be like Jax. Of course. Because, I mean, but that's based on do I have enough front line or back line? Like, why, why were you losing? And you were losing because of, because of, lack, of lack of front line. Right? So it's, it's specific. Like, it's... You need to know why you're losing the fight. Okay. And that you figure that out by looking at the fight. Or like you figure out, okay, if I look at this board, I can see you have two star, two star, but your front line is nothing. Mm-hmm. So just by looking at the board, I can tell, okay, you do have damage, but you don't have like, like anything to soak damage. Realistically. So that's kind of... Like my thought process, okay, I need I need more front line. And here, here it's uh, you can add in Maokai Hecarim instead of Lissandra, right on seven, and then you get to eight after Carousel. Okay. Because this was a gamble. Because like we we discussed the the possible chosen's right. And there's not that many great possible chosens. Like, if you hadn't hit that Warwick, I'd say that was kind of a, kind of a questionable play. And yeah, here's saying the Hecarim is, is kind of like, you, you want to play the Hecarim on 8. But like, as soon as you hit, <laughs> as soon as you hit the Warwick, it's easy first, obviously. But it, yeah, if you hadn't hit him, it was a very risky play. Because the like level 7 rolldown sort of no longer exists. Yeah. Yeah, you'd rather go for the level 8 rolldown. If you can, and if you can. So I, I, I think Aphelios is one of those, one of those uh, chosens you can get to 8 with. Okay. Like, it did work out, but, like, in other, in other scenarios, it might not work out, and you might just bleed out. Because, like, here, from this position... Yeah. Uh, wait, where is it? Here. You have to roll down for a Chosen. Here. You have to roll down for a Chosen. And, like, your board is kind of, kind of crap. So, like, yes, you can roll down and upgrade your board, but you'll be upgrading units you don't, you might not want to keep anyway. Right? Like, you don't want Lissandra, you don't want Silas, Hecarim, maybe Nunu's okay, you don't want Maokai. So, like, you would be rolling, but, like, what would you be rolling for? Essentially, like, an Ash or a Warwick, right? Or, like, mm-hmm. Jin, Riven, Cassio. Like, you, you would be rolling for four costs. So like when you when you roll down, obviously I roll down on six or on seven sometimes if I'm in a if I'm in a shitty situation. But like when you roll down, it's it kind of influences the outcome of the game. If you can roll down on eight, you're more likely to have a better outcome, like do better than if you have to roll down earlier. So here you don't have to roll down because you hit the Warwick. But under okay. normal circumstances, you would have to roll down here and you're un- like you're not as likely to hit the the premium for like any four costs essentially, like no like legendaries very very unlikely, four costs kind of unlikely, so you'll be stuck with like a bunch of three costs, and then then you'll kind of be in the situation okay, fifty six HP is bad, but if you roll down here, good luck getting a top four. Right. Yeah. Because then like you, you if you have to roll down here. If you don't have a like since you don't have a chosen, you have to roll for a chosen, 
and which means you won't have enough economy to go eight at a like reasonable time, which means you won't be able to sell the chosen and get another chosen on eight, and it just kind of griefs the game. So it's it's interesting. Like yes, you got first, but I mean honestly, like what what is the math on this? We have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's one out of five to get like five percent chance. So it's like point oh five uh, divided by or no, multiplied by point eleven. So yeah, this will happen to you in. Uh, it's, this is like I give it to you in percentage. This will happen to you in half of a percent of your games. Yeah. Not even that. Not even that because you got it chosen. You get it chosen like once every three shops or something. So, like the odds of this happening are less than a percent. So overall, this was not the right play because it, it will happen to you half a percent of the time, which is just a gamble. Yeah. And you want like, you want, uh, what do you want? Warwick is, is good. Uh, Shen can work. Riven, Jin, maybe Casio, maybe Aatrox. Like, all of the forecasts are decent, except maybe for, huh, Talon is not usable right now. Morgana's kind of meh. So if you get a forecast chosen, it's great. But you have a 5% chance to get a forecast chosen, which is just, it's just too risky. Yeah. So sorry right. for about, about that rant, Michael. Uh, uh, no worries. Uh, anything else that I can clarify for you? I think that's it for now. Oh, one other question, yep. actually. Um, are you on board with the Zeke Slam ice cream cone slam there? 100%. 100%. I'm a big fan of slamming. Because it felt awkward when I hit that, that Ophelia's chosen and I had, like, those items, but I... Yeah. But as I mentioned, I wouldn't have put them on the Philios. Would you have put them on Silas or? Lysandra, because she's next to Aphelios. Okay. Because I would have, I would have wanted to get uh, Stay in Moonlights, right? And I mean... So, okay, the, the play you made, the play you made is telling me you want to play Aphelios for stage two, maybe stage three. But you're not yeah, thinking about him in the I, I don't, I don't play Moon Man. Yeah. So, like, this is the correct play if you're not thinking long run. Okay. If you're thinking long run, if you're thinking very long run, then maybe it's even, like, considering a BT, but, but like, Zeke's is just too good. So I don't think it's... Like, you get extra damage on the fields as well, so it's... I mean, it, it was kind of okay, but... But when you when you hit the Chosen of Helios... But then I said sell it, right? I think. Because yeah. you could have sold... You said to uh, just sell the Aphelios with the items rather than sell the Chosen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can put the, the items on the Chosen. Or, like, but I mean, it, it worked out, but uh, you want Zeke's next to Aphelios, essentially. Um, do you have the time? How would you feel about doing, like, a live game and going for a two-hour session? Because I think we started around uh, an hour and a half ago. Yeah, sure. I got and time. It takes I mean, half an hour. I just woke up, so I got lots of time. So. All right, so I'll start up a queue, and then we can do a live game. Yeah, all right, so let's end the VOD here. So thank you for joining me. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bye.